Hey guys, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing wonderful. If this is your first time checking out my channel, what is up? I'm Amy. If you're returning, welcome back, guys. So it's been a little minute since I've done uh, the ghost face video. So I was like, you know what? I need to see what's going on with ghost face. I know you guys have been asking me for it. So it is here. I got a great message for you guys. So I'm just going to go into this, guys. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you guys know when I'm going live and when I'm uploading new videos. So Ghostface wants you to know that he does want to make this work. The actual feeling I'm getting from Ghostface. So for those who are new to my channel, don't know what the Ghostface videos are about. I just tap into the person who ghosted you. So if no one has ghosted you, this message is not going to make sense to you, or maybe it will. Um, but if your person has ghosted you, then this message might really resonate with you. So if it does, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments, guys. But the, the main feeling that I'm literally getting from this ghost face is that even though they ghosted, even though they're being very silent with you, they still wanted this relationship with you to work. This, is, this could also be someone who is literally drinking a lot of alcohol or it's like they drink alcohol to forget to they drink alcohol to numb things they could have they could be doing drugs or like have a drug addiction but it's like at this point this person loves absolutely everything about you they still love you all right so that was kind of like the introduction to what is going on with ghostface right now what else is happening with ghostface what does ghostface want to tell my collective please All right. Oh, some of you, your ghost face right now. Who this is some tea is getting hot in here already. Is dealing with a sexually transmitted disease, STDs. So that's very specific. So your ghost face may have contacted something, or they gave something to someone else, and I feel like there's a there's some shit about to be exposed. Someone's done the dirty and their dirty is coming back to like backtrack on them. So some of you, your ghost face may be dealing with STDs. They may be dealing with some type of sexually transmitted disease, you know, so be very cautious if you are connecting with your ghosted friend, because they may not be coming clean about this just yet. But I feel like you might hear something about this. Like there might be a third party energy here where it's like, someone tells you about the person that ghosted you there might be information or there might be like a message or you just might hear something around like your community or your town whatever the case is i feel like you're going to hear about this okay yeah i cheated a few times this ghost face was they have very like nasty energy where they may have cheated on you directly. They may be cheating on someone else. They may, they just have very, they can't stay with one person. They're constantly bouncing around people. And I feel like what's happening now is that because this ghost face is doing shit like that, sleeping with multiple people, that is about, that is like, they're showing me like that is about to be exposed. Like they're leaving behind a trail or something like that is like kind of the feeling that I'm feeling here. They're leaving behind a trail. Damn, that's craziness, guys. This is resonating with you. If you're already having a feeling of this, if you're like, you know what, this ghost face is like mm, the person who ghosted you, they are getting some karma right now. Maybe, okay, just, just, just hear me out for a second. Maybe the person who ghosted you is dealing with someone who was sleeping with other people and that person gave your ghost face an STD. Fuck, eh? Look at that drama coming in. Damn, y'all. That was very specific. So I don't know who needs to hear that. They want you to give them grace. They're really, they're really coming in because they do want you to forgive them. Whether or not you actually forgive this ghost face or whether or not you actually forgive this person, that's going to be totally your call. But mm, that STD thing makes me like, be careful if you're thinking about giving this person a second chance. 
This person is very unsure of the future with you too. What else can I say, please, spirit? What else can I say? What else does this ghost face want to say for my collective? What else does this ghost face want to say to my collective? Will you leave me like the others? This ghost face has abandonment issues, rejection issues. They're scared. They'll never admit that, but I feel like they're scared. They're scared to like come back and get close to you, to ask for forgiveness. What does this ghost face want to say, please, spirit? What does this ghost face want to say? They're still obsessed with you, and they're feeling very lost without you. So I don't care what they're what they're saying, what they're doing, who they're doing it with, what they caught. This person is still, you're still on this person's mind heavily. You're still on this ghost face mind heavily. Whoa, guys, this is some tea. Hit that like button, guys. Let me know if this is making sense, if this is your story. This person wants to change because they know that the things that they've done in the past, the ways that they, they don't want to be that way anymore. Maybe this is an STD scare for some of them. Mm, that's just some nasty ass energy though. Damn. All right. What is in the ghost face energy? This is someone that could have a lot of childhood trauma that they've gone through. And this could be why this person is in this energy. Because they, they've never really learned how to cope or they've never really learned how to deal with what they needed to deal with. They could have a lot of like trauma from their childhood. My life is a mess right now. Ooh, and they can't come to you. This person, their world is falling apart. Their world is falling apart. Yeah, I don't understand. And people don't believe in me. People are starting to see this person for who they truly are. Mm-hmm. Mm, karma can do so much better than you can. You know what I mean, guys? I wish I could be fully honest with you. And why is it that you love me? This person doesn't understand why you still love them or why you ever love them. And they want to be honest with you about something. They want to come forward and share things with you. They want to open up to you. It's like they want to express themselves towards you. But they're not, they're not doing that at all. Right? They are not doing that at all. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what else I can get for you guys. Hit that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button, the notification bell. What else does Ghostface want to say? No more games. No more third party. I'm done. I want you. I want to show up unexpectedly. So this person's literally coming through and saying, look, I'm done. I don't want to play any more games. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I know I want you. I'm going to show up. Yeah, because they want a family with you. They want to move in, buy a house, put down roots, get married. But, like, you got to ask yourself, do you still want to deal with someone who's dealing with multiple people? Yeah, they are really lonely without you. This person has really been thinking about their life, thinking about the choices that they, they need to make, the decisions that they need to make. They want to gift you something. I feel like this person's going to give you an unexpected gift. I don't feel like you're going to feel like this. Like, you're not going to see this gift coming in. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting. Like, you're not going to see this gift. They don't match your energy. So the vibration and the frequency is definitely off between you guys right now for those that this is making sense for. But it's like this person may know that you're in another relationship or they may know you're happy. So it's like they really do wish the best for you, even if that means that they're not with you. They want to romance you, though. It doesn't feel like this person's done with you. Like hot tub, food, flowers, candles. This is someone that does want to come back around and try to make things right with you. But again, with their with that STD card and the cheating card, you know, you got to know your worth and you got to know your boundaries. But it's like they're not holding back anymore. This person might start really expressing towards you, opening up to you, like showing up. Like for some of you, this person is literally going to show up at your house and knock on your door. Like they, they, they are really serious about making this work between you guys. Yeah. Let's buy a house. Let's put down roots, a down payment. Like they really want a chance to make this relationship with you work. They're literally ghosting everyone, but you. So the ghoster who ghosted you is coming back around because they are going to be ghosting other people for you. Woo. All right, guys. So that I'm going to leave it right there. Um, let me know if it resonates. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys again soon.